and welcome back to the Kruger National Park. We're in a rest camp uh, called Mapani at the moment, which is kind of the beginning of the northern camps. And later today we are making our way further up north to the northernmost uh, camp called Punda Maria. So Blair, this is like the old school Kruger accommodation, right? What do you need, man? Small little place to rest your weary bones off the long game drive. Nice clean shower and then you've got this whole outside area. And this is the other eddies. But the other eddies are on a game drive currently. Hi! Hi doll. Yeah, I mean on the opposite okay, side of our ring. Why is the were being going? thatched. I was going to ask you, what was your no. general? Why is that yes. thing timing? Yeah. That's cool. What a view! You can do the honors. Thank you very much. Monkey dogs. Welcome to our home for the next three nights. Yes. Air conditioner on. Yeah, man, this looks nice. Perfect. I love this little balcony area. Yeah. This is great. So we have arrived at Olifant's Rest Camp, aptly named after the Olifant River that you can see behind me. We unfortunately had to have a slight change of plan. Um, the far north where we were staying in Punta Maria had received a lot of rain and that meant that they have still closed all of the sand roads. Uh, they're inaccessible and it really limited our driving. I mean there was literally one, one road that we could do in and out of the camp. Um, so instead we decided to drive further down south to Olifants um, where we were spending our final two nights and we've just extended for an extra night. So we're going to be based here for three nights. As you can see the view behind me is magnificent with the Olifants River thundering down in full flow. We're going to have some nice birds I'm sure that frequent these bushes and I think we'll be spending a lot of time around this table with an ice cold water or gin and tonic, playing some Lebanese backgammon and reading. Yeah, just chilling out. chilled afternoon the sun is setting and the light is beautiful um, yeah we've just lit a braai and making some dinner gonna make some traditional uh, braai brookies which is basically toasted samis on the braai they're amazing um, and just chill out and enjoy our first evening at this beautiful camp it's super muggy um this is the hottest i've been i wonder it's if like the camera i wonder if the camera can pick up six the beads of sweat dripping off your forehead no, there's no beads of sweat on my forehead. <laughs> well, it feels like it at least. Um, yeah, it's 6 o'clock and I think it's 36 degrees still. So, and like high humidity and lots of mozzies. But we're going to have a GNT yep. and that'll enjoy solve this. all our worries. Exactly.
the cooker today, yeah, huh? Yeah, the cooker, it's gonna be. I, I actually felt that as soon as I walked out of the, the unit this morning to go make coffee, it was just like, bah, slapped me upside the face. I hope that you guys can hear me. The Olifants River is thundering down in full flow as with most of the rivers in Kruger at the moment. Beautiful Chagra calling behind. But um, yeah, this spot you are allowed to get out of your vehicle and we've just stopped to have our cup of coffee and watch the sun come up. No one's around, which is incredible. And um, yeah, this spot is kind of the confluence between where two massive rivers meet in the Kruger, the Olifants, which is this one that flows past our camp behind me, and uh, the Lataba, which is another big one, and they meet up. But yeah, camp is just on the hill back there. We're a few k's from camp. And just gonna enjoy our second last full day in the park. This place is, yo, so, so special. Um, yeah, I'm currently reading a book called South African Eden on the history of the setup of the park in like the early 1900s, like we're talking 1902, and it's pretty fascinating how there actually weren't that many animals around and how it's all been rejuvenated. How it's all been rejuvenated. Um, yeah, interesting read if anyone's interested in the Kruger National Park history and how the national park came into being. Yeah, lekker. I heard the, the branch break and then some scruffling on leaves, and then a, like a like a. Yeah, it makes that that um, different sound. It's like that click. Yeah. yeah because it, I whoa. thought it was a puff back. And a nice little view. AB two. AB two. previous vlogs we were wanting to cross this exact same bridge and had done a 22 kilometer dirt road only to get on the opposite side to learn that we actually can't cross so now we are um yeah we, we looking across. Made it across we have looks like our road has come to an end and we're gonna have to do quite a significant detour
What's cooking good looking? It's a little pasta rubiata. Ooh. Got some peppers and onions on the go. We'll drop in some cherry tomatoes and garlic. Pasta's blipping away. Well, it's not blipping away. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was blipping away. The stove is super slow. Well, this hob is very, very slow. But we'll get there eventually. We'll be back. Yeah. We'll be back. Now we have that, to leave. That means it's officially over. Well, we still got about a two hour drive through the park. Yeah. We've left camp, we've just bumped into two male lion and a whole clan of hyena. Why does it always work like that? On the day we leave, we wake up early, early, early to try and get away so we can get out the park quickly because we've got a long day. And boom, two beautiful male lions in the road, they are no one beautiful. else. Beautiful. And hyena, which is my favorite. Very Such cool. a cool sight. It's a sign. That we shouldn't leave. We shouldn't leave, we turn around and book another night. Uh, many hyena, 
blackback jackal. Nice, um, uh, herd of buffalo. Nice big illy bull in yeah. the road. So yeah. yeah, it's been a great, great exit. They saved the best for last. I think it's probably one of our best. Game, yeah. game wise, it's definitely been probably it's our been best. Very productive, but um, first drive. as you guys know, we kind of nerd out more about birds and all of that. So from that point of view, it's been incredible. Um, and yeah, until we meet again, Kruger Park, we will be back very soon, I'm sure. I have no doubt. Any parting words? <laughs> no parting words. This has been a great trip, and uh, yeah, always yeah. can't wait to come back again. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this little Kruger series. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you don't know, there were a couple other vlogs before this one uh, documenting our trip from beginning to end. So check those out if you're keen for more bush stuff. And I'm sure there will be many more bush stuff to come. So I'll see you guys again sometime soon in the next vlog. So for those of you who are actually wondering what Squarespace does or who they are, they provide powerful website designs with already made templates, which you can then customize to fit your business or your brand's personal style, making the setting up process really simple and easy. I wanted to highlight a couple of things that I particularly love with Squarespace and my current website that I'm working on. The first is the portfolios and gallery feature where this allows you to present your work and projects in a professional looking capacity. Another thing that is invaluable is their built-in SEO features to help your site rank better in search results as well as a range of features for analytics which include things like demographics, devices your audience is viewing your site on and how they're interacting with your site and products. It also allows you to integrate popular tools and apps onto your site such as Dropbox, Xero to name a few. And if you need to make any changes while on the go, particularly great if you're traveling a lot, you can edit your websites on Squarespace's powerful app, which works on both iOS and Android. So if you're interested in giving Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you like what you see, go to squarespace.com forward slash Nicole Eddy for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.